Thank you guys so much. Again, this is the favorite part of my job right here is bringing you things that haven't been seen yet. And you're going to love this one. This is the 2022 Shadow Cruiser 258 BHS. And it is everything you want under 30 foot. Guys, this thing is under 6,000 pounds at 30 foot long. That's pretty stinking impressive. Power tongue jack up front, beautiful painted front cap, huge pass through. We'll get to that in a bit because you're going to be blown away with all the storage you get in there. More ride step above steps. Nice, easy grab handle, folds up. Look at that. I can dance on in. Uh, uh, uh. Woo! And here we go. Fritz, what do you think, buddy, about the inside? Gorgeous, right? It's nice and light. It's airy. It's open. You have a slide on the off camp side, so that way it's not impeding any of your camp space over here. Perfect for the family, folks. You can sleep up to eight people in here. That's right, under 30 foot, and you can sleep up to eight people. That is phenomenal. Let's start off right here in the back corner. You have double over double bunks. Absolutely love this, whether it's for the kiddos, whether it's for friends, family, doesn't matter. Maybe a neighbor that you need to take in, give a, give a place to sleep, need a spot to, it's a spot to rest your head, boom, good to go. If you're like my man Chris Young, taking naps halfway through the day because he's snoozy, Got a bed right here for him. Climb on up, big guy. The ladder's plenty strong for you. You'll see underneath some additional storage. Gotta love that, right? It's actually one of the things Shadow Cruiser does really good, folks. I was in here earlier and uh, counting them up, and you have 31, 31 cubbies, storage doors throughout this entire thing. You have more cubbies and storage doors than the feet of this unit, right? That's pretty stinking impressive. So storage under there is great for, you know, additional clothes or any other items that you want to stick in there. Uh, dirty laundry basket. Perfect. Make our way back into the bathroom, right? Did a good job. I'm about six foot tall, 200 pounds and uh, gaining pounds every day. And you can see right here, good leg room. Perfect for the shoulders. No, you know, I'm not running into anything. I'm good to go. Uh, porcelain bowl too. So nice and easy to keep clean. That's a big one. You can see some extra countertop space. You know, they really utilized the space well here. They didn't have to put anything here at all. They could have cut the countertop off, but they did. They stretched that out. They put an electrical outlet, gave you some additional storage there as well. And of course, as you'd expect, you have storage underneath the sink and a fully built mirrored medicine cabinet right there. Plenty of lighting in here too. You have a couple big lights. You'll see a skylight plus a vent right here. And if I take a step into the shower, look at all the space I have. You know, I, got, I've, I have fairly broad shoulders. And a lot of times when I'm in an RV shower, I'll turn like this and I start fighting with the curtain. And I don't know, I don't know what it is about me, right? But something about a curtain touches my touching my skin just kind of grosses me out. So I'm like doing this as I shower, right? Have my hand wand and I'm kind of doing one of these numbers, but I don't have to do that in here. You know, I can fully spin around, no problem. You have the built-in shower door right here. This is completely mold resistant. So it's not like you have to dry it off or squeegee it off. You just roll it right back up, you're good to go. Again, folks, it's six foot tall with that skylight. I can perfectly stand in here, no problem. You can probably be six one or so, still be good to go. Make our way back out of the bathroom and kind of into the living area. So as soon as you step in to the Shadow Cruiser, take a look at this. This 258 BHS has a huge pantry space. I love this. You know, you get all the storage. You can see coat hooks. That is so smart. You know, I don't know why more manufacturers don't do this. You have coat hooks on the wall. It's great utilization of space. Plus, you have an electrical outlet in there. Um, I like that for a couple of reasons. If you want to use it for like a pantry, uh, you can put a coffee maker in there if you want. Um, you know, or... Maybe that's a spot where your toolbox goes, right? You want to charge your power drill? Boom, good to go. Can be right in there, very easily accessible. Uh, I love that they they just had that. You know, just yeah. Sometimes it's the small things that just really impress me. Speaking of entertainment center, I like the back lighting. Um, I, I don't know what it is about it, but it's a nice soft light. You know, they um, it, it's just I, I like the white light. It's clean to me. And I, th I think it's a good look. TV front and center right there. That is directly across from the main seating area in this floor plan, which is your large U-shaped dinette. I, I like the fabric that they chose here. You kind of have a couple uh, different things going on, right? So I think they did a good job kind of using the two-tone, two different patterns all together. That U-shaped dinette does drop down into a table, or <laughs> does drop down into a bed, sits up as a table. Uh, but if you need that sleeping space, you got it. 
Easy access storage right underneath. And I like that the doors are flush, right? Again, it's a very clean look. And speaking of clean, they got rid of all carpet and went with the nylon weave flooring on that slide. So, you know, that way it, it does, it is easier to clean. And if you do spill anything, it's uh, kind of spill resistant, right? Uh, cleans up nice and easily. Windows in the slide too, folks. And I like the window treatments, but also take a look at how big that window is on that the side of that slide box. It's a huge window and it opens. A lot of manufacturers don't do that. They'll just put in either nothing at all or just a solid piece of glass, right? And not a functional window like you have here. Uh, but back to the entertainment center, if we drop down underneath the TV, you'll see your multimedia center right there with the DVD player built in, as well as your control panel. Um, you'll notice that it has a battery disconnect. So if you want to kill all power to the coach super quickly, you can do that. Good storage space underneath there as well. And then you move into the beautiful kitchen. So uh, a couple cool things about this. Of course, you have the thermal formed countertop, which is an upgrade over your T-mold. You know, normally if the countertop like this, if this was T-mold, this would be bowing out. And as soon as you start getting water in there, your countertop's gonna get soft, it's gonna rot out. That's not anything you wanna deal with. And luckily, if you get the Shadow Cruiser, you won't have to. Uh, plus, the thermal form is going to be lighter weight than true solid surface, which is how they're able to get this one under 6,000 pounds dry. The sink is phenomenal. You will see right here, has a sink top cover. You can use one side as a cutting board if you want. Keep the other side nice for both a sink top cover and a serving tray. And something I saw a little bit ago, take a look at this, right? I have a serving tray and I'm like, oh my gosh, look at my charcuterie board, which if you know me, it's basically just a fancy Lunchable. Don't get me wrong, I love them both, but look at this. I can walk right out the door, boop, just like that. No problem, not bashing knuckles, coming right out because it is a 30 inch wide door. That's a cool thing, right? That's something you normally don't get in a lot of RVs, but here in the Shadow Cruiser, you are able to do that. Uh, also, undermount stainless steel bowl, Gotta love that, right? Nice and again, easier to keep clean. Don't have that ring all the way around. Uh, I like the, the design they have kind of as the backsplash. You will see storage up top with your microwave, storage down below, plenty of drawers in here again, right? They already put the divider in there for your flatware. The oven is wonderful. You have the glass top, you know, decent size there as well. Uh, the knobs do light up. Take a look underneath the sink. You can see plenty of room there for your pots and pans. Let's move up into the bedroom because there is something that is very unique. A few things here, right? Uh, one, they have a slider door, which is cool. I like that, but king size bed. But watch this. Let's say you're like me and you have a big butt and it's hard to squeeze in here because you have a window and the king bed, which is a very common problem for people with big butts in a travel trailer with king beds. Trust me, I've tried to walk around a lot, but with this one, you just kind of Boop, we're just gonna move that right over. Now I can get over here, no problem. If I wanna sit down right here, which will support my weight, wanna be able to put my shoes on, put my pants on, I can do that. Also, right back here is a ton of storage. For it to be able to get in there, kind of show them, it's a little dark, a little dark in here, but I mean, I have, a, I have a grill in here for gosh sakes, and more storage in there. I mean, it is, it is very, very big storage area. I mean, it's all the way underneath there and this makes it easier to access. So that's really cool. Um, and the other thing, you can do the same thing on the other side. Like, let's say, you know, again, I wanna get over here, no problem. Just kind of take this guy, whoop, just like that. Now I can access this side. I have extra drawers. If I need to get to the drawers over here, right? Gotta love that, plus, wardrobe space up top, storage all the way across the top, and there are electrical outlets on both sides of the bed. So whether you're charging a cell phone, sleeping with a CPAP machine, whatever it may be, you're good to go. But I think that's pretty cool. Uh, kind of gives you the best of both worlds, right? You get the big king bed, but you still get the maneuverability that you would normally get in a queen bed. So lots of great things inside, some things that are pretty unique, but they've done some things outside as well. We'll get to one of them up front in just a moment. One of the other things I do want to show is right back here, and that's the outside kitchen, and they did it right. Why do I say that? Oh, they give you a flat top grill. Folks, I don't know if you've been using these. If you haven't, you need to get one. They're great. Whether it's, you know, the Suburban, the, the Razor, um, or uh, Blackstone, right? Very popular brand, whatever it is. If you haven't gotten one, you need to get to your camping world and get one because they are awesome. Doesn't matter what it is, breakfast, lunch, dinner, you can cook it all. But they do give you one here. You also see storage right over to the side, electrical outlet there for anything you need to plug in. 
boom, huge storage right in the center, plus a fridge over to the side. And if for whatever reason, you're like, you know, I like the, the flat top, but man, Ian, my steaks just have to have those grill lines. They gotta have it. Well, don't worry. You got a grill arm right on the back. That bad boy's gonna swing around. You can plug it into the propane quick connect underneath and you'll be charring up that steak in no time. You'll see power stabilizer jacks, right? So that way, after you level the RV out, you can drop those down so the RV's not rocking around as you're moving around inside or whatever you're doing, you crazy kids. You'll see the awning up top, power awning, touch a button to roll that out. LED light there as well. And then as we move up a little further, you can see electrical outlet plus Fresh tank fill will be located right there. Very convenient and easy to get to. We talked a little bit about construction. Behind this fiberglass is Asdell Composite, which if you know me, you know how much I love Asdell Composite paneling. But take a look at this in here. Huge, absolute huge pass-through storage. Same size baggage door on the other side. So no matter what you put in there, you're able to access it from both sides. And lift this guy up. You'll see it's magnetic. Take a look at this. How cool is that, right? Extra hidden storage, something that you normally wouldn't get, right? Normally that's just wasted space. They did a good job, whether you wanna put uh, extra tools in there, whether you wanna put extra firewood in there, which if it's firewood, please make sure you're not leaving the state. We don't wanna take diseased firewood from one state to the next, but it does give you just uh, excellent storage, uh, extra storage options there. Or if you're a hunter, Right, excellent spot for maybe rifle, shotgun, something there. Just make sure you keep it locked up, keep ammo somewhere else. But uh, I do love the additional storage there. And as we talked about on the front, folks, you get that beautiful front cap. You can see that on the Shadow Cruiser. Of course, your propane and power tongue jack will be up here too. Folks, if you're looking for this one, if you love it, you're like, Ian, the 258 BHS is amazing. I don't disagree with you. So what you need to do is call your local Camping World or Gander RV and get yourselves one of these bad boys right here.